greetings to all so as we have learned what are the syntaxes what are the operators what are the variables in the matlab so now we will be writing our first code so this code i will be writing on the matlab environment but this is a screenshot of that so first we are using clc to clear the command window this command window could have uh, earlier program results or earlier program variables but uh, we will be clearing it then i am assigning a b c and c is a result of a and b it is a combination of a and b okay so the uh, function i am using is suppose i have a equation c is equal to 2a plus b square minus ab plus b by a minus 10 so if this is the equation i am having and i have two variable a and b how can i get the answer c and how can i print it so i will be going to the screen 2 so this is a matlab environment here you can see that i have written clc then uh, i have written assign the value a b and c i have written then the print f this is a printing command print f uh, i am assigning the, i am printing the values of a and b are assigned as 3 and 9 i am simply writing the line secondly i am uh, printing the result the value of c is percentage i means the c value will be assigned over here if the c value change my the statement uh, the value inside the statement will also change you can also see the workspace over here this is empty right now so as soon as i will be doing the uh, run command as soon as i will be giving the run command this workspace will be filled okay so i am removing this so as soon as i will run the command so the three values are coming the a and b are the variables this is the first written command the value of a and b are assigned as 3 and 9 which is this one this line is being printed and the third line prints the value of c is percentage i and this is assigned here 53 this 53 will change as soon as i will change the value suppose i change the value from a to uh, a to 4 and then again run the problem you can see here there in this command everything in the string or the, in the written line is as it is printed the value of a and b are assigned 3 and 9 i have changed the value of a to 4 but it could not detect the line last line the value of c is has been changed this is changed now because i am using an percentage integer operator which is updating as the values of variable are updated so you can see also see the workspace where a b c all are being shown so this workspace contains the name of the variable and the value assigned to the variable so if i change now the value of a to 5 and again run the program the value is changed here workspace you can see that the workspace values are being changed okay again i can show the array how to write an array we have already learned how to write an array so i have written a array as 3 6 7 b array as 1 9 4 so you can see the array point so a is been written as 3 6 7 if i write colon instead of so uh, i should be removing this so array addition i am again running this so what you can see that on the command window you can only see the c which is this one why not a and b because a and b comma a and b lines are being terminated by the semicolon whenever you terminate any line with the semicolon that result is not shown here you can prompt it uh, by using print command or the print command to show but it will not be shown automatically so if i remove from array a the semicolon as i have removed here you can see here in this there is no semicolon and then again run the command you will see the array command 367 uh, i will be doing clc so that the earlier command uh, read so you can see that the first line is i am simply printing it array addition second is the a you can see the a come 
because the semicolon has been removed. I am again putting the semicolon. Then I am doing the addition of A and B. The result is shown in C. Then what I am doing is, I am suppose now I want to add two values. I want to add three with the command four, three with five, or the six with five. Suppose I want to add six and five. So the array consists of three values. A array consists of three values, and B array consists of four values. But I want to do the addition from element to element addition. So A consists of three elements and B consists of four elements. So suppose element number two, which is six of A, has to be added with the element number four of B. Then what I'll be doing is I will using the brackets. I'll be using A bracket element number. So element number two plus B bracket then the element number four. So as I do this. I can assign this to a new variable, say C uh, A. So as I will run the program, we can see that C A is 11, and here a new variable has been added, C A. So you can see that C A is what second element of A, which is written here A bracket two, and fourth element of B. So this is a function which can be used using MATLAB. So in next video we will be learning about the uh, matrices and their uh, working.